Hey Data Factory fans, welcome back to the channel. I have a very quick, short, simple video for you today. I want to introduce you to a new feature in Data Factory and Synapse Analytics known as the Fuzzy Join. And the way you use Fuzzy Join is you essentially are going to simply enable fuzzy matching inside of your join transformation in Dataflows. So what we try to do is to make it super simple for you to be able to use the algorithms that will perform similarity string matching per value in your rows in your data without needing to have to manually build any of that. You can just set a checkbox in your join transformation to enable fuzzy matching. So let me show you how it works. Very simple data flow that I have here for you already on the design surface. And I have two sets of files with names data as my sources. I have a couple of selects in there because I'm renaming some of the names of the columns and reducing the column uh, size so that it's an easy to follow uh, demonstration. And then at the end, I'm joining the two streams. Now, the current join I have is the typical uh, inner join that is existing today inside of Datafactory with all the other join options as well. What I am doing in order to join the two streams together is I pick a matching condition. And you have in Data Factory today the choice of equality or the non-equality types of operators. And then you pick the column or columns that you wish to match on for your join condition. So I'm matching on a column that I need called as name one in the left-hand side of the stream and name two for the right-hand side. When I join those together and I preview the data, I don't have any rows that match. So I get zero rows back. Now, if I were to say, though, that I believe there are going to be some similar matches in there, perhaps there is some uh, not completely cleansed data, and I want to sort of master that data to be able to find the joins of the like terms and like strings within the name column. What I have to do is just simply check the use fuzzy matching box. I can keep the same equality um, columns here for my join condition. And notice that when you enable fuzzy matching, you no longer have the equality or um, non-equality operators because everything is going to be in equals, essentially assumed to be an equals um, operator. And you do not have right outer or the cross custom join capability yet for fuzzy matching. It's going to be full outer, left outer, inner are your options. Now, you can set a similarity threshold. And in this case, I have it left for the, as a default, which is 80. That's right in the middle. Your um, options are 60 at the um, low end and 100% matching, or almost essential, it's going to be an exact match at the, uh, the right hand extreme. 80 is sort of the, the middle kind of sweet spot for the fuzzy matching. So I'm going to leave it at 80. And then let's see what happens when I preview the data. Now that I have fuzzy matching enabled, we'll see if it's able to find that there is actually a match or a, a similar match within that data that may be valid for your data flow. And there is the record that has joined between the left and the right hand side of my streams, which is Roger and Rogers. And the similarity score is presented to you here as 83.34. This is a system column to give you and to display the similarity score for you. you. You have the option of actually making that part of your metadata that you can then store in your sync. And you would just type in the name of your column here under similarity score column. Now that matched at a score of 83. If I were to raise the similarity score above that to 84, what would happen now is that that's no longer going to match. That's how you would use the slider for the similarity threshold in the fuzzy matching and the join. And you can see that now um, that row does not get matched because the similarity score is below my threshold. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Now, just like everything else within mapping data flows and uh, data flows and synapse, everything that you execute here within your pipeline and when you are designing your data flows will run at scale on Spark for you. And so that fuzzy match will get translated into Spark libraries for you. And that's it. So thanks again for watching.